Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is talk to you about what we mean by the transpose of a matrix. We need this operation when it comes to working with inverse matrices, for instance. I'll also be talking to you about the symmetric matrix. Now, first of all, then, if we have a matrix A and it's got these elements A1, A2, B1, B2, B3, etc., then when it comes to transposing this matrix, the transpose is given by A with a superscript here, T. And I've color coded this so that you can see what happens. Notice how this top row now becomes the first column. Second row becomes the second column and the third row becomes the third column. So if you had, for instance, this matrix here, this numeric example, you might like to just pause the video for a moment and think about what the transpose will be. OK, welcome back then. Hopefully you got this result here. Now, when it comes to transposing a matrix, it doesn't have to be a square matrix, as in this example, this 3 by 3 matrix. You can have other shapes. Here's an example of a matrix with dimensions 2 by 3. And you can see that when we transpose it, we get this matrix here where the dimensions are now 3 by 2. So when it comes to dimensions, the transpose of a matrix of dimension n by n has dimensions n by m. So that's basically what we mean when we transpose a matrix. The other thing I want to talk to you about is what we mean by a symmetric matrix. And that's if a matrix A is equal to its transpose matrix, then the matrix A is said to be symmetric. So if A is a symmetric matrix, then we can expect the matrix to be square. And what we would notice is that there would be a reflection of the elements across this leading diagonal. OK, something like this then, where we've got a reflection in that leading diagonal. So if we look at a couple of examples, let's suppose we had the matrix A was this one. If we transposed it, it would look like this, exactly the same. Notice again how the elements are the same either side of the leading diagonal. And this is an example then of a two by two square matrix. Here's one of a 3 by 3 square matrix. Again, notice how the transpose is exactly the same as the original matrix. And we've got this reflection of the elements here and here in this diagonal, the leading diagonal. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea. Very short tutorial then on the transpose of a matrix and what we mean by a symmetric matrix.